Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials. You are watching Mainframe Tutorial Rex of Part 2. This is the continuation to my Tutorial 1. In Tutorial 1, we were, uh, I was telling about the introduction to Rex and uh, the importance about the Rex and what are the functionalities of a Rex. And also we have seen a sample program, so about the Rex programming. So in this video, I would like to share the important concept called the different ways of executing a Rex program. So I would be using this uh, four different approaches while uh, working with the Rex program. So I thought of sh uh, sharing the same to you. There are different, there might be a different ways of executing it. So this would be the four best practices to do as a beginner. So for the, the four different uh, ways of executing is one is using option six in the ISPS panel and using EX beside the PDS member and uh, third is TSO exec for this batch is here so let's see let's go ahead and start with this first option called using option 6 in the ISPF panel okay connecting to the terminal so this would be the simple program uh, simple rec program so say enter values for A and B pull A B and C A plus B okay and the addition so I'm trying to add a simple things okay I will go to option 6 okay and this type exec and uh, give the entire path okay just tell entire path I'm trying to copy it okay and exec space paste it okay and enter see it is trying to it is asking for me to enter the values for a and b so i'm trying 10 and 20 i think i would be expecting a result yes the addition is 30 so this is the first way of uh, executing the rex program so using option 6 in the panel and uh, next one is ex beside the pds member i'll go to my pds member so in my pds how many programs i have oh i can see only one program here so just type ex beside to the member enter it is asking again enter values for a and b q 50 and 100 it should be 150 that's correct it is very accurate okay now we are done with the second option and then next using TSO exec okay uh, I can give TSO either you can give on any SPF panel so I'm trying to give it here TSO exec and complete member name okay enter so once again it is asking for uh, enter values for A and B just will give some crazy numbers seven eight eight, eight, eight and eight eight, 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 eight eight addition is one six seven eight seven three that's right okay this was the third way of executing this or else I mean or else you can do something here you, you uh, if you are even on the ISP of main page so you can try to execute the execute the command here also so enter 50 98 148 so any in any uh, ISPF panels you can execute it either you can like, run it in view view or I mean you can you can try to run it anywhere okay that was the third option and the fourth option is running with the badge ACL oh this would be interesting let me check this okay uh, Okay, I'm into Rex JCL. So this will be the JCL, JCL to run a Rex program in the batch. So IKE JEFT01 is the IBM supplied program, which is mainly used for running the J Rex program. So sys exec is the main command. So over here you need to give your source library of where the Rex program is residing, and in this system DD star parameter you need to pass the parameters. So this would be your program name that is add and the parameter pa values which you are going to pass it so I, ha I need to enter 10 or 20 I mean or 30 so 40 
okay just save it and just write try to submit it okay enter it uh, ended with zero Le let's see go to spool okay see you can see that okay it was add you have entered the values for a and b and it's the addition is 53 that's it it ended with zero you can see the messages if it is exe executed with uh, zero or not yes it is executed with zero zero that's it uh, these are the four different ways uh, i mean better practices uh, to run rx, RX programs I hope you enjoyed this video. So I will be coming up with more and more e videos about this over X programming. This is this would be very very interesting uh, to learn. So I I hope you would be you would be uh, watching more videos. Uh, whatever be whatever I might be posting it. So in order to get the uh, links or email updates uh, about my postings on YouTube channels, kindly please subscribe to my YouTube channel or kindly please share like or comment on my youtube channel thank you so much for watching this video have a great and wonderful day